Hello everyone. So today David and I are doing or having <laughs> some fall fun, but I want to share with you an easy um, crock pot meal that I'm making today. Um, this is actually one that I normally do when I'm working because it's like five ingredients or less and it's really easy, but we're going to do it today because we're going to be out and about at the pumpkin patch and the apple orchard. So I'm just going to share this um, recipe with you. It is called like chicken and stuffing in the crock pot and there is a specific way to do it so your green beans don't get ruined so I'm going to share that with you now and get started so this is all the ingredients that you need to make this meal um, the first thing that you're going to do is layer your chicken at the bottom with salt pepper and a tablespoon of garlic powder so that's the first step, and I'm gonna get that in the crock pot right, right now. So I have my chicken breasts layered at the bottom of the crock pot. I think there's five breasts um, in here. So I have garlic powder, salt, and pepper. As easy as that. Then the next step is to layer the stove top stuffing mix on top of the chicken. All right, and as simple as that, the <laughs> stuffing mix from the box is just layered on top of the chicken. Super easy. Next, you mix just a can of cream of chicken and then eight ounces or one cup of sour cream. You're gonna mix that together. I just put a splash of water um, just to thin it out a little bit. Um, other recipes say like one third cup of water or milk, but I don't like to do that. So I just, I leave it a little thicker. So I just put a splash of water in this mixing bowl. All right, just so you can get an idea, this is the consistency of the um, sauce i guess you would call it so it is still pretty thick and again i just put a splash of water in it just to loosen it up a little bit i'm going to put that over top of the stuffing and chicken in the crock pot so literally as simple as that the mixture is on top of the stuffing and the chicken and next i'm going to put the green beans on top of this uh, mixture and then sprinkle a little bit more garlic powder salt and pepper on top and then you just got your green beans on top and then I'm going to cook this on high for about four to five hours and it should be cooked um, completely through but you can cook it on low for you know eight to nine hours while you're at work and it will work as well um, you just don't want to overcook these green beans or mix it all together this is the technique or it gets nasty so this will steam these beans but they won't be mushy so this is like the key when you're making this make sure that the green beans are on top or you're gonna have a mushy mess Look who's back in town! So we are headed to, we're gonna go to a pumpkin patch. It's like on the corner of where, um, close by where my mom lives. And that's normally where we like to get our pumpkins. So we're gonna start our morning there to find, I need five pumpkins this year for the porch. And uh, then we're gonna go have some apple cider donuts at another um, orchard. And then lunch. We've got red mums. You do? I do. Here she is. Oh, that's a good one. That's my girl. <laughs> These are very beautiful. I think I like this one. I have a llama I have to make. I come on the only one. Mm -hmm. Do you see trees? Trees? What? They eat buds and stuff. Where did these shoes come? So we just got back home and I'm going to continue to decorate our porch if you saw my Halloween decorate with me um, I just put like a few things out on the porch but I obviously wanted pumpkins and other things so we just obviously got our pumpkins so I'm going to add that to our porch right now. Ooh, 
All right, so I just decorated the front porch. I hope that you like it. You can kind of see it in full all together. But also I'm gonna show you the crock pot and what it looks like finished. Um, again, how long have we been gone? Like three and a half hours and mine's already finished in the crock pot. Again, I left mine on high. And high normally it will cook it in like four to five hours. Um, but my crock pot's kind of small. I didn't stuff it as full as I normally do. But what I like to do is put these crispy onions on top and it just adds a little crunch to it and it's kind of like a green bean casserole dish but let me show you the finished product in the crock pot I'm back in my office. I have so many videos to edit from this past week. It's crazy. I got so much work done. I have my hot apple cider here from the orchard that we were just at. I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the happenings. I post fashion videos, lifestyle videos, recipes, my life. So please make sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all of the exciting happenings here. <laughs> Thank you.